So I just came back from a seven day cruise on a beautiful celebrity ascent and today I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about this ship's buffet. I'll take you on a tour of breakfast and dinner, delve into lunch, late night snacks and share my likes and dislikes. Breakfast at the buffet is your best morning option unless you're staying in aqua or retreat class room. It offers a wide array of choices that should satisfy most people. The food quality here is about an 8 out of 10, assuming you're not an overly picky eater. Some of my favorite options include custom omelets, eggs benedicts, pastries, fresh fruit, bacon, sausage, and a decent yogurt selection. On a full ship, however, given the fact that breakfast is probably your best spot, it became quite congested in the morning, forcing you to scout for available seats. Often, one of us would need to guard the table while the others fetch the food. So let's check it out here. On both sides of the buffet, you'll see right here, there are made-to-order omelets. So you can order whatever you like. There are poached eggs right here. That's a poached egg. There's a bakery station right here, as you notice. Today we got Ringo. Good morning, good morning. How are you, sir? All good. You were on the Beyond. I was in Beyond. I got the exact same video of you cutting the, the toast on the Beyond. I remember you. Just, so that right there is Cafe Baccio. And take a look. They're making fresh bread right here. There are eggs right here, scrambled eggs, vegetarian curry. Let me show you. This is the Mexican scrambled eggs. So they always change it up here. And I'm gonna whoop you around here. Let's take a look at this bacon. So those are regular scrambled eggs. And that's what crispy bacon looks like in the morning on the Celebrity Ascent. There's some sausage right there. Hash brown. Let's take a look at these beautiful hash browns. They're looking good. Sure. We got little tomatoes right here. Then there's fruits over there. There are more fruits right over here. Uh, and then let's take a look. See, notice that most of the sections are quite the same. There are a few things that are different, but they're mostly the same. So there's some hard boiled eggs, banger sausage over here, blood, black pudding, and then a grilled ham. See that they're making French toast and pancakes right there for you. This is the omelet station. Hello, how are you? How are you? Thank you, sir. Sorry. As you notice, you order the omelet right here, and you grab all kinds of different things that you want to put in it. But you could also just get your regular sunny side eggs. There are hash browns, hot sausage, bacon, and then pork sausage right over here. So that's what breakfast looks like on the Celebrity Ascent. It's not super busy right now, it actually gets a lot busier. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Tom Sunday. I make weekly cruise videos and if that's your cup of tea, I'll be thrilled if you consider subscribing. Lunch at the buffet offered a very similar experience. It was usually very busy, but consisted of a variety of choices. There were a small number of daily rotated specials, as well as the key staples that you can expect every day. Food quality could be improved in some cases, but overall was not so bad. Think of a notch or two above the average buffet that you could think of, and that's what lunch buffet was like on the Ascent. If you're interested in other lunch alternatives, be sure to check out my Ultimate Celebrity Ascent dining tour. It will expand on your available free and paid options on this ship. Seems a bunch of different, like mayo, tzatziki, hummus, spicy mayo. Chicken gyros right over here. Looks like they'll make gyros for you. Oh, no, no, not at all. Just, you, you first. I'm just looking. Just looking? <laughs> just looking this time. That's what I was doing. I do a little scouting and then I come back and... It's delicious. It looks delicious. Yeah, it looks real good. Today should be an interesting night. I hope you enjoy it. Now, dinner at the buffet which is called, by the way, Ocean View Cafe, included a few heartier dishes and a grill station that prepared minute steaks, chicken, and fish. 
Unfortunately, I did notice a very big reduction in dinner service at the buffet on the ascent. Let's take a tour of dinner so you can see it for yourself. I honestly think that I could not recommend dinner for you here. In fact, my opinion, there are much better free options for dinner on the ascent. If I were you, I would skip the buffet on the ship. Now on the bright side, they did serve ice cream from lunch until late night, which is a positive. Let's see, what do we got? We got vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream. There's also a coffee ice cream right over there. Coconut sorbet, plain fat yogurt, strawberry ice cream, peach low fat yogurt, butter pecan ice cream, and then peach almond yogurt right over here. Hello, how are you? And then all kinds of toppings that you would like, as well as uh, cookies, peanut butter cookies, macadamia cookies, and then oatmeal raisin cookies right over here. As you can see, nice and fresh. So we got strawberry, chocolate, apricot, pecan, grapefruit, almond cake. Wow, this is interesting. So this is an avocado lime cheesecake. Chocolate tart next to it. Tres leches, right over here. Chocolate mud pie, almond cake, apple crumble tart, strawberry cake. Then we have avocado lime cheesecake, chocolate tart, lemon merengue tart, grapefruit and pear cake. There are so many cakes. Another tres leches, there's a chocolate mud cake, an almond cake, an apricot cake, lemon merengue tart, and then of course the pecan tart at the end there. So like I was telling you, right, dinner selections is kind of limited here because most people will go to either the main dining room or one of the specialty restaurants for dinner. They usually don't come here to the buffet. Now for lunch and for breakfast, it's crazy here. There are a thousand people running around. You can't find a seat. There's a lot more food. But this is dinner at the Ocean View Cafe on your Celebrity Ascent cruise ship. Regarding late night options, the buffet remains open from dinner and operates until about 1 a.m. You can expect late night snacks like fruits, desserts, breads, cheeses, a custom pasta station, and even pizza. If you're looking for a midnight snack, this is probably your best option. All in all, I'd rate the buffet somewhere between a 7 and an 8 out of 10 for breakfast. That rating goes down to a 7 out of 10 for lunch and even lower for dinner. However, it was clean, well-maintained, and operated efficiently. There's Ocean View Bar right over there where you can get yourself a drink if you'd like. But before that, let's check out some of the best views that you can have at dinner. So if you wanted to, you could grab your drink, your food, and etc., and then walk out in the back right over here and enjoy your dinner right outside. So let's check out Sort of like a sunset. So as you can see, this is probably your best bet if you wanted to eat outside and enjoy the views. And looping around the back of the buffet, you have Ocean View Bar and then another beverage station right over here. The Ocean View Bar is open every single hour that the buffet is open. This is where you can grab yourself a drink. I noticed, same as the other side, you have seating on your right, and then the buffet stuff is on your left. There's another beverage station right over here, so let's see what we got. Today is iced tea, lemonade, apple juice, and passion orange guava juice cocktail. And of course you can also have your coffees, your decafs, your hot water, your milks, and etc. right over here as well. As always, I'd love to hear what you think about this in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.